I hope it doesn't replace the last one, but and just continues this one. So the workflow is, let's just say, for instance, one of the projects we're going to start working on this week in our class is every single day is a warm up. They're going to draw a little cartoon. Okay. A really simple five minute cartoon. I have already about 20 or 30 videos on different cartoons that I did last year that I'm just going to, you know, regurgitate and use them on, on here. So, okay. Uh, what they do is they will draw the cartoon, listening to the video, take a picture of it with their phone. They'll download Google Drive onto their phone and log into Google Drive with their student ID and password. Okay. So student ID at stu.sandy.net and their password. They log into Google Drive and upload that picture to their Google Drive. Okay. okay. Then they go to, to their Google Slides and create a new slide with that drawing on it. Okay, okay. So each successive day that they do an additional five minute drawing, uh, they add another slide okay. and they put that cartoon in there or that drawing or whatever it is. Okay. Then the next step is on your Google Sites and I'll, and I'll do a video on this uh, tomorrow morning probably. Okay. You can embed your uh, Google slide show into your Google site and the beauty of it is, is that when you go to a student's website, let me show you my, one of my, well, I'll, I'll show you later. I've got a okay. student last year that absolutely did everything I asked everybody to do and then some. I made a okay. suggestion that he record his drawings with his cell phone and then upload his video of him drawing in the cartoon. Okay. And he went back and did 10 or 15 cartoons, recorded them, and inside his Google slideshow he had a picture of the finished drawing the video of him drawing it both of those were inside a google slideshow which was embedded in the website so that every time he uploaded another slide or another drawing and or another video it automatically updated his website so when i showed you all those students names on the websites uh, for my students for their for what we did last semester uh, all I have to do is go to my website and click on their name and I can see what they've done that day. As long as they've turned in the work with this workflow. So once they've created a Google site, embedded the Google slideshow in there, they just update the slideshow and it automatically updates the site at the same okay. time. It's, okay. it's wow. a really cool system. Again, no, actually this kid was an eighth grader you say? He was a seventh grader last year. A seventh grader? <laughs> yeah. He's better than I am already. <laughs> I thought sixth graders had to do this. So if a oh. sixth grader can learn it, yeah. Oh boy, oh boy. Well, it's step by step. It's like anything. It's, you know, a bite at a time. You just take okay. a bite. Okay, all righty, all righty. So as I update my Google Classroom, you will have access to all of those projects. And okay. just like I showed you a minute ago, you can have my Google Classroom that you're invited to okay. and one of your Google Classroom pages. You can copy and paste all of my information onto yours Okay. And then assign it to your class and it'll, it'll, it'll generate the same, the same way that I do it from one class to the next on my own Google classroom. Okay. Again, so thanks. I know it's, I, I've given you a whole ton of stuff to think about, but yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but it's been, it's been recorded. So. All right, cool. Thank you. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. You're welcome.